Hey, hey guys, how's it going? Um, okay, so what do we got here? We got stuff out of a stove. Um, these are uh, where the knobs go on for the stove. Um, but you got some brass and whatnot. So, I don't like these connectors here. Those are all brass. Then you got some other brass inside of this. So, let's pry one of these open. Um, so I got my flat ass screwdriver. There we go. Get that out of the way so you guys can see here. So inside here, you guys see uh, some brass tongs. On the ends of those, there are silver connectors. Um, so, you know, if you guys are into, you know, precious metals and collecting that, um, there are... Definitely some silver in there. Not a whole lot, but uh, sure it'll add up over time. So here I pulled one out for you guys. So as you can see, we got our brass, and then there's a button on the end of this. See that button there? That is a silver contact. So yeah. I mean, if you wanted to, you could refine those down. Um, I suggest to, uh, you know what you're doing when you do that. As, uh, you know, you will be working with chemicals. Um, so there is another connector in here. I want to get out. There it is there, silver connector, brass. I'll grab my magnet here and we'll test it. So, this part here is steel, which we need to separate. But this part here, hmm. maybe it's all Oh no, there's a steel pin on there. So that's brass. This one here, all brass. And we get your silver connector. This part's brass or steel, brass. So I mean it is worth it. Well, I don't know, I guess that's really up to you if it's worth it or not. Um, but yeah, so that's out of the switches.
steel. So let's see what we got here. I mean, this is what the micro scrapping is, right? So, nothing sticking. Oh, we got a little thing that stuck there. But that didn't. So. Let's see now. I think we're good. So, we got brass. Those in the brass bucket. Alright. Now, for this. I haven't torn one of these apart, but uh, I've seen a uh, Canadian Treasure Hunter. Good scrapper. He does a lot of micro scrapping and uh, I learn a lot from his channel. So, yeah, definitely if you guys are looking for a good channel to watch to get the most bang for your buck, his channel would be the one to watch. Try and do this somewhat quickly. That way I'm not doing too big of a video. Or too long. I don't want to bore you guys. Um, so again, the brass fitting or the brass parts that the plug connects to. It's all brass. I mean, I, I don't know if this is all worth it and whatnot, but I mean, I assume it is. But again, like I said, that's up to you guys to just figure out. All right. So, I'm not mistaken. Look at this. That is copper, okay? I know it doesn't look like copper. Uh, looks like steel, right? But... If we take a file to it, we got one right here. As long as I cut it, maybe you guys can see the difference there. That is copper. That's a solid copper pipe right there, guys. So, definitely uh, check that. There's a screw on the end of that. Hold on, let me just grab my screwdriver. We'll pull that screw out. Oh, guess I got my drill. Perfect. Solid copper. Awesome. And we have this one here. And take the screw out. There we go. And another solid copper. I mean, it's a, I, like I said, I mean, I, it's up to you guys if it's worth it, but I think it is. I mean, right there, you probably got a quarter of a pound just right there in copper, right? So why not? All right, it's clean. It's good. And uh, then we got these. Brass bits here on them. So you can... Rip them off if you choose. There you go. Look at that. I 
again, we got some clean brass, some dirty brass, those in the brass bucket. And that's that, guys. I mean, that's pretty simple how to do these switches. Um, yeah, and I got a bucket of these, so when I get more time, I will uh, go through them all. Alright guys, thanks very much for watching. Hope you guys learned something. Hope you hopefully you guys learned something there. Um and uh we will see you guys. Oh look at that. There's some brass connectors there too. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. See you then.